Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Review. Very excited for today's beer, as I usually am. Um, so my Framing Hammer series officially ended, but I have this beer that is a barley wine from Jack's Abbey, uh, aged in bourbon barrels. Uh, looks similar to the Framing Hammer, so in my mind it made sense to do this at the very end. Um, it's over a year old, and I actually had it, uh, so it's a 2017. Um, I don't remember if they brewed it in 2018. But anyway, I had it about 10 months ago. Yeah, not quite a year ago at a bottle share, and it was all bourbon, or it was all barley wines. I don't think they were all bourbon barrel aged, but a lot of them were shocker. And uh, I remember liking it, but I don't remember anything specific other than I liked it, and other people at the share also liked it. So pretty excited to get into it proper, especially again with the age. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I love barley wines. Um, I like, you know, the English style and the American style. I'd probably give the preference to English, a little sweeter. Um, well, I do like that extra happiness of the American short version. I'm pretty easy to please when it comes to barley wines, especially if you age them in bourbon barrels. But you can already tell it's lighter than the stouts I've been drinking, or the sorry, the Baltic porters of the framing hammers. So, not quite a finger ahead. I just see it's going to go down pretty quickly. Um, now this one actually does have the ABV, which uh, the Framing Hammers did not. 12.6% says beer aged in bourbon barrels, and it's called Sibley Maker. And I hope that is not true, just the name of the beer and not some sort of fortune, because two teenage daughters is enough. Under the beer. So like I said, the head was going down quickly. It's basically, well, that makes my eyes look weird. Whoa. Um, basically, it's gone in the center. I can totally see the beer. Um a brownish actually reddish hue color um kind of looks like if you mixed like some root beer and some cream soda um kind of has that vibe to it um the head <clears throat> definitely not fluffy bubbles at all um pretty compact tight tiny but yeah definitely not a, a fluffy tiny and like i said i went away pretty quickly that's what it looks like that's the thing you can see how's it smell Big bourbon, huge vanilla, actually maybe even more than the vanilla caramel. From the aroma, it smells more like an English style. I actually don't remember how hoppy uh, this beer was when I had it, if it had some like citrus kind of hops in it, but a uh, huge caramel, which is lending it to that sweet, thinking it's probably English style. That spirit is awesome in this. <clears throat> Probably uh, comparing it to those framing hammers in terms of the barrel aroma, um, this is higher. I'm getting, it's way easier for this one to get that barrel coming through. Um, perhaps the barley wine is not you know, fighting as much as the Baltic Porter was in those beers. But um, yeah, again, a, a nice sweet smelling. It smells delicious. Yeah, like, And again, I love barley wine, so... It reminds me of a quad a little bit. But yeah, smells awesome, looks awesome. I'm sure it tastes awesome. Cheers. Oh, wow. It does have a little bit more hop presence than I thought from the aroma. <clears throat> it interestingly adds a little bit of a citrus note, but not so not overdone. If you prefer English style, I think you would be fine with this. If you want a hoppy barley wine, <clears throat> sorry, you might be a little disappointed in this. The barrel and the spirit, awesome in this. I get a little bit of the oak, but it's uh, way more of the actual bourbon in this. Uh, what a great vessel to pull out those flavors uh, and impart them into the beer. It's working amazingly. Um, the actual bourbon, we do get that vanilla as well, just like the aroma. The caramel note is more subdued than the aroma, so that's something that's a little different. Almost kind of get like a ripe, very ripe apple out of this in a pleasant way, which kind of, you know, I wish there was more caramel in it. I think those two things together would be awesome in this. Just heard my wife come in, so now Bruno's going to be like, what's going on? Doesn't drink quite as high as it is. 12.6. Delicious beer. Huge winner. 
Wish I had more, to be honest with you. Uh, check out Instagram Untapped. Go ahead, beer reviews at both those places. Always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.